We're just weeks away from the Winter Games kicking off in Beijing. One Bozeman-based athlete is on the brink of becoming one of Team USA's youngest Paralympians in an event since she didn't, she didn't even know existed a couple of years ago. MTN's Ashley Washburn has the story. Well, it just felt like yesterday that the Summer Olympics wrapped up in Tokyo. We're now just a few weeks away from the Winter Olympics kicking off in Beijing. A Bozeman-based athlete is on the brink of becoming one of Team USA's youngest Paralympians in an event she didn't even know existed a couple years ago. Me, 18-year-old Lear Doderling. It was the scariest decision I've ever made. And I didn't think it would be scary until the moment that I got to that surgery day. I was just like, am I really going to do this? At the age of 14, Lyra made a decision no teenager should ever be expected to make, but she knew if there was any chance of playing sports in the future, a bilateral amputation was the only answer. In the back of my mind, I was scared, but I knew that I wanted a better life, a better mobility, more independence, more opportunity for my future, and so I just knew that I had to do it. Lyra was born with a birth defect in both of her legs and hips called arthrogryposis. My muscles and bones weren't able to form in the correct way, so I grew up with bent legs and bowed legs and curled feet, and I was given up for adoption right away. I was born in Russia, a really small town in Russia. They didn't have a lot of ability to take care of somebody with such complex medical disabilities. So two years after I was born, I was adopted from a family in the U.S. And I was basically put into braces as soon as they figured out I could walk after a few surgeries. But as Lyra grew older, walking grew even harder, and doctors told her she would likely spend the rest of her life in a wheelchair. However, amputation provided a sense of hope. There were possibilities and scary ideas that I wouldn't be able to walk, no matter what we did. When I went to my parents about it, my parents have always just been super supportive. So they trusted me enough to say, hey, if you believe this is best for you, we will fully support you. So in June of 2017, Lyra went in for surgery and a few months later was fitted for her first prosthetics. It was there she was introduced to adaptive sports. The guy came up to me and he was missing one leg too and he said, hey, you should come try sled hockey. And that was, that was it. But it wasn't until 2019 after a bit of convincing that she was introduced to the world of skiing by five-time Paralympian and gold medalist Oksana Masters. I just kept saying I didn't have time and then about a year later she's like, hey, you should come to this event. It's a cool clinic. I got in the snow and it was pretty much the exact same situation as hockey. I just fell in love with it. Two weeks later, I went to my first sit ski nationals. From then on, I just kept skiing. And a few months later, Lyra was named to the national development team, finding her way to Bozeman training for Beijing. It was crazy because two years ago, from now, seeing the growth that I've had, this has been pretty sweet to see. So if I do get chosen for that team, I will be ready to give it my all. Lyra has qualified for Paranordic skiing under the Olympic standards, but it won't be for a few more weeks until she knows if she'll be competing for Team USA. In